Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 4th. My name is Brianna Sheehan with your morning announcements. Best of luck to the boys' varsity soccer team, home against Rockwood, the girls' varsity tennis team, away against Bishop McCourt, and the boys' and girls' cross-country team, away at Bedford. Duke University is having an admissions presentation at the Renaissance Pittsburgh Hotel Monday, September 16, 2013 at 7.30 p.m. See to the guidance office for more details. Juniors and seniors, if you would like to meet with any admissions representatives, please see Mrs. Ponchak in the counseling office. Attention National Honor Society officers. There is a meeting today at 2.30 until 3 o'clock. Please plan to attend. Again, this meeting is for the officers only. Homecoming Decorations Committee will be meeting in Ms. Brodish's room from 2.30 to 5 o'clock today. All are welcome. Attention high school students interested in joining History Club. Dues have been set. Please pay your dues to Mrs. Blackburn, Ben Grow, Annalie Tukarski, Nadine Carr, or Holly Chappie by Friday, September 13th. That is the deadline for joining the club. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Blackburn. Any high school or middle school student interested in joining the high school and middle school reading teams should sign up in the library. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Phillips or Mrs. Baker. The Technology Student Association is having a meeting at 2.30 on Friday, September 6th in room 109. The club is open to all students in grades 6 through 12 with an interest in technology. Competitive events include public speaking, video production, engineering, fashion design, debates, and various other events. Stop in and talk with Mr. DeZerko about TSA for more information. The World Languages Club will be holding sign-ups until September 6th. The sign-up sheet for forensics will be in the office until Wednesday, September 4th. This is open to all students grades 9 and above. An informational meeting will then be held Friday, September 6th in room 218 at 2.30. There is a stage crew meeting today in room 205 at 2.30. There are now sign-ups in the high school office for Service Club. Please sign up if you are interested in getting some service hours or you just want to help out your community. The first meeting will be held next Friday. Today for lunch we are having a Rambler on a Roll, Spiral Fries, Red Beets, Juice, and an Apple. Tomorrow for breakfast we are having a Cutie Pie, Assorted Cereal, Juice, and Milk. Thanks and have a great day. Hello, I'm AccuWeather Ashley here with your daily forecast. Today will be a high of 74 degrees and a low of 54 with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow will be a high of 70 with a low of 53. Thanks and have a great hump day. Good morning, I'm Ramblin' Ryan here with your sports highlights. Good luck to the cross country team as they start their season today at Bedford. Good luck to the girls varsity tennis team as they travel to Bishop McCourt today at 4 o'clock. And good luck to the boys varsity and JV soccer team as they kick off their season today at home at 4 o'clock against Rockwood. In the Pittsburgh spotlight, the Pitt Panthers kicked off their season Monday night with a loss to Florida State at Heinz Field 41-13. Florida State freshman quarterback Jameis Winston accounted for five total touchdowns in the win and contributing 355 yards through the air for the Seminoles. The Pittsburgh Pirates are up one game on the St. Louis Cardinals as they take on the Milwaukee Brewers tonight. In other sports news, Penn State kicked off their football season on Saturday with a win against Syracuse 23-17. And on this day in sports history, 
It was on this day in 1994, the first two-point conversion was scored in an NFL football game by the Cleveland Browns kicker Tom Koopa during the first week of the regular season. That's all for today. I'm Ramblin' Ryan, and have a great day.